So here's the puppies guarding my Walmart order. So my Walmart order came today and this is what I got and it came to $57 including tax. I stocked up on a few incidentals so I got these mega rolls. This was 12 something. Um, I don't know all the prices because it's on my computer but I'll give you a short rundown a price guesstimate. The Ultra Bright is a dollar. I've been using this for years and also this multi-action whitening rinse and I use the Equate brand instead of um, Crest or anything like that because it has the same ingredients and it's much, che much cheaper and these two things have managed to keep my teeth fairly white. And then I got two large, this is two pounds and this is two pounds of pasta. I have quite a bit of pasta but I was running low on the thin spaghetti and I always like to keep these elbows and this is actually cheaper to buy the two pound at Walmart than it is to buy it at, at Dollar Tree. And um, I think that was a dollar forty two each of them. I'm not sure. Then I get these stir um, water enhancers, and they're like three dollars and some cents. So I got those. I got this pizza crust mix. I've heard it's good. And uh, I want to give that a try. So that was 50 some cents. I got this Tony Satchery uh, seasoning. One of the YouTubers I watch who does a lot of pantry cooking. I can't think of her channel right now. If I remember, I'll link it below. But she puts this on everything, so I just wanted to give it a try. I don't know if I'll like it or not. If it's too spicy, I won't. So I'll pass that on to my daughter. Then I got this, and I like to keep this handy. I either get real cheese or I'll get vegan cheese, but this time I got Italian-style cheese. I like to keep that on hand for making little pizzas and things like that. And pasta dishes so that's one of my staples either or but Walmart didn't have any vegan ones then I got this um, coconut milk yogurt I got two of those because I enjoy those with fresh fruit and those were $4.95 something like that they're not cheap but well nothing's cheap anymore then I got my uh, chocolate creamers. Yes, I know it's a lot. I got one French vanilla and four chocolate caramel. And this is for a month. This is all for a month. I won't shop again unless I need something quick or small. But uh, those are like $2 a well, they're around $2, which is much cheaper than the International Delight. And um, I put that in my coffee. So um, sometimes I put it in my tea too. But anyway, this is enough for a month. And then I got these red organic beets. These were a dollar, like a dollar ninety-eight, something like that. And um, I had a beet the other day from my garden. I didn't have much success with beets. And I had roasted it and put a couple seasonings on and it was really tasty. So I got this because I want to roast some of those sweet potatoes that I got along with this. Then here's another drink enhancer, the peach mango. I got that. And that's around $2 too, I think. And then I got a loaf of sesame French bread, which was a dollar. And it's a nice long loaf. And I can use this for sandwiches or little little uh, French bread pizzas or for toast. So that was my order. I know it doesn't look like a lot for $57, but 
The toilet paper was 12 something, so that was a big part of it. And some of the things I got were a little more expensive, like the yogurt and the mouthwash. So, but for a month for a Walmart haul, that really isn't that bad. I made this naan pizza the other day. It's garlic naan bread, and I put uh, homemade pepperoni on it and uh, olives and peppers, parmesan cheese, and Italian cheese. So I had this left over. I only ate half because I had a salad with it. And now I'm going to heat it up. And if you guys ever want to heat up pizza, put a little butter in a frying pan and then put your pizza in there. And it turns out so nice and crispy. So this is going to be my breakfast this morning. And I'm just going to cover this up so that the cheese melts. Turn it down a little bit and that will be breakfast. So all together this month for the month of September I will have spent $170 for the month but when you take into account that I didn't grocery shop last month that's really eight weeks. It'll be for eight weeks worth. So if you average that out, it comes to about $21 a week that uh, I spent on groceries for two months. So it is easier if you can to buy all the things that you need for a month or so in advance rather than shopping every week. Now I know there's some things that won't last that long, but most things you can either freeze or um, seal so that they'll last longer. So anyway, that was my haul. Hopefully I won't need a whole lot of anything else other than maybe a big bag of dog food, but I still have some of that but I like to keep a bag in a spare bag because you never know. The supply line is not working properly at this point in time. Although today I did get everything I ordered. I think Walmart must stock up their, their um, stock on Friday nights for the weekend because I find that if I get a delivery uh, other days of the week, I don't always get what I order because they're out of a lot of things. So anyway, that was my haul. And uh, now we're going to get cooking and I'm working on a video that I'm cooking with all the food that I cooked up for the week. The pasta and the rice and the beans and the potatoes. So I'll have a video coming up about that in the next few days. And hopefully uh, I'll make something good. Because <laughs> we don't like nasty food. We like good food. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. I love you guys, God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.